Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be showing you how to quickly define and create a datum system that you can use for the inspection of your parts using the GOM Inspect Suite inspection software. So let's begin with a little bit of a background on datums and what specifically they are used for during the inspection process. So datums are typically used to restrict degrees of freedom on our parts so that it can be measured as if it were in its assembled state. The way that datums are defined is by extracting datum features that are present on our part by using geometric elements such as planes and axes. In GOM Inspect, a combination of datum features can be created directly from the CAD model itself in order to create a datum system that can be further used for inspection processes such as checking the position of holes, cones, and so forth. In today's example, we're going to create a datum system using the create datum system command from the GDNT quick creation menu, which allows us to easily define and create the datum system based on our CAD model in a single context menu. So as you can see here, we've already loaded in the CAD model and we have aligned the scan data of the physical part that we would like to compare it against. So to begin the process of creating the datum system, we're going to go over to our GDNT quick creation menu and click on the create datum system option. This opens up our dialog box where we can begin to define up to three different datums. And we have some additional parameters that we can use to further refine the datum selections, as well as a dialog box that lets us know whether we have any remaining degrees of freedom to address. So we're first going to start off by creating datum one. And the way that we can do this very quickly using this option is to select create fitting element. Now this will allow us to hover over the elements that we would like to use to create the datum feature, which in this case is going to be a plane that is represented by multiple faces. So we're going to first select the face on our first selection, then continue to select multiple faces. And as you can see, as I go over multiple different faces, the plane extends to meet those different faces so that we have used all four of the selections to define this plane. Once I'm satisfied, I can control click to create the plane. And now I can rename the element and I'm going to assign this a name of A. So there's our first datum feature that we've defined as A. We're now going to move on to the second datum feature, which is going to be created using the exact same method of create fitting element. So the second one we're going to define as the cylinder of this pin, and we're going to label this B. And you can see that now we have a vector that is defined as the center location of that cylinder. And finally, for datum C, we're going to select the second cylindrical face here on our pin and label this as C. Now that we've completed the definition of our datum system, we can see a preview of the planes that create this overall datum system. And we can also see that we have no remaining degrees of freedom, meaning that this is a stable setup. So now I can create and close to have this defined. And we're going to be using that ABC datum system to calculate the position tolerance of this cone using the specified ABC reference. So we're going to create a cone element using that selection there and assign a fitting element to create this same element now based on the mesh that we've aligned. And finally, we're going to select the position check here and select our datum system to define whether we are within or outside the specified tolerance zone for this specific element. And we can see that our defined position tolerance using our ABC datum system, the cone has an actual value of 0.33 millimeters, meaning that we are within the specified tolerance zone. So that's how you can very quickly and easily create datum systems to use in inspection projects using the GOM Inspect Suite software. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.